All right, so finally, we're going to be looking at the highlighter effect, which is a cool feature that we've brought in from one of our other templates. And so essentially, as the name would suggest, this will allow you to highlight text within your post, just like you see here. So now the way that this works is that we open up our highlight designer comp. And over here, you have a quick preview of what the effect looks like, as well as some uh, options uh, to customize its look. And so we can change its color to yellow. And let's just turn off this guy for now so it's easier to see. Uh, and we can, or we can change it to green. I can set the animation speed for, for how quickly it animates. I can roughen the edges, meaning I can make the edges nice and square, or I can roughen them like that. We can add marker tips, which is this guy over here. I can add some dust, or I can add some marker texture, where it's uh, making the edges look uh, real choppy, and adds this texture here to make it look like a real marker stroke. Or I can even invert the text. Um, and let's turn off that texture for now. And as you can see here, it's inverting our text that's sitting behind the highlight. So sometimes you might use a darker marker color, which can make uh, make it hard to read things. So if you invert the text, uh, it actually makes all the difference. Okay, and so that's some of the customization that you have here with your highlighter. And if you want to use this guy and add it to one of your posts, you simply copy it here using Control C. And then we find a post. And I can just paste it here change its um, size. And here we go. We have this really nice highlighter effect on our post. All right, and this wraps up our overview, um, which I hope kind of gave you a good idea of how this template works, how easy it is to use it, um, and just how quickly you can create such uh, rather complex scenes. And like always, if you have any questions, just feel free to leave us a comment or drop us an email to our support.